I have a new microphone today, folks. I hope it works out okay, because there's no reopening my mail once it's been opened. I also have a new knife. Let's get going. Okay, let's start with some of the smaller packages. I have no room. I should have made room. Okay, let's go. We have integrated circuits. Okay. I'm sure it is. Everything is an integrated circuit or a diode, so these actually are little integrated circuits. I can't read these. There are 10 ICs. These are ATtiny 85s. Surface mount. Glad they finally arrived. I have lots of projects to use these for. I should have bought more. 10 not going to be enough. Okay, next. Description of goods. Diodes. It's either integrated circuits or diodes, right? I mean... There's nothing else you can buy from AliExpress. Oh, in this case, they're not wrong. I have an assortment of 0805 sized LEDs. What colors did I get? Let's have a look, shall we? I got, I don't know which one's which, but I got, well, that's red. R for red. B for iced blue. W for white. <laughs> okay. If you can read that, you're better than me. Let's put that one down for a second. Y for yellow, with the Y's backwards. G for green. So that is orange. A whole bunch of different colors for a project coming up. I wonder what the project could be. Each one of these is 100 pieces, apparently. Doesn't look like 100 pieces. But apparently 100 pieces each. Wicked. Next, we have, surprise, surprise, integrated circuits. That is a pack of five something, five something. What did I get that was five something? These are SPI flash chips. They're eight pins, so eight soik. They're W25Q32. Some other letters afterwards, FVSSIG or something like that. So they're SPI based flash chips and they're uh, 32 megabit. So the SAMD21 doesn't have built in flash storage. It kind of does, you can actually hack them to store data on the actual chip in program space but every time you're doing that you're basically reprogramming the chip and they've got a certain life span on them for how many times you can program them so i wanted to play around with putting external flash storage on there we go awesome can't wait to play with that next description of content rgb light okay oh here we go that is absolutely not rgb light but what are they Ooh, bad packaging all stuck together these are Little cob LEDs. Hey Dave Watts, check them out. These are the warm white ones, because I decided that I like the warm white. And this is for a project that David Watts and I are working on. If you haven't seen what the project is, or any of the videos for them, have a look uh, just up here now, somewhere around here. I'll post a link. How cool is that? Lots of cob LEDs. Hopefully way more than I need, but you never know, because I've got to experiment a bit. I'm excited by this one, there are a few things in here. Cool! Okay, so we have two things here. The first one is, you can probably tell, it's a sample book. It's an empty sample book. I bought myself an empty sample book with, I think it's got 20 sheets in it. This is for me to put my 0603 parts that I just had delivered in uh, unexpected mail a little while ago. So I'm going to, I wanted to just buy one of them to check it out, I actually need more than one, but it's just really hit and miss with all the different listings on AliExpress and eBay. I actually bought this one from eBay. So I'm excited to put all my parts inside that. Wicked. The other thing I got was from the same seller on eBay is, this is a clamp metal. I don't know what it's made out of. It's quite light, although it's quite strong. And it's got a screw hole for the same size screws that my DSLR uses. So my plan was, before I bought my new tripod, was to build myself something where I could clamp my camera on to some type of pole. And I still might do that. This was a, a couple of dollars and looked quite sturdy. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing if that will hold my camera. Next! 
Okay, we have LED chip. Well, I know what this is. So it's pretty obvious. Once I take it out. Yes. It's 1,000 pieces of SK6812Bs. And they're the 50-50 size. I bought these for the new version of my Neo X segment boards that I'm making. I want to try out the, the 6812s instead of the WS series chips for a couple of reasons. Firstly, these are just becoming more prevalent now and I don't think there's any work being done on the WS series anymore. And the other thing is they apparently they don't need just the run of caps through them and you don't even need the resistor at the start of the chain anymore according to Lemore Freed. So I want to try these out and see how they go on my new boards. Cool. We got stuff from Iris Components. The assortment of stuff in here. Some square nuts, M3 size nuts. What are these for, you ask? Well, let me show you. This is my Reflow Master case, my prototype design that I'm working on right now. It's not finished yet, I've been waiting for these parts. So I need to be able to screw on the back to this and Although I can thread the 3D print to be able to put my M3 screws in, which are these over here, came in the same bag. What I want to do is actually put a slot just inside here and put the square nuts inside and actually tighten them up that way so I'm not using the 3D print thread so I can't accidentally, you know, wreck the thread on it in any way. And I needed, they come in all different sizes, I needed to know what the correct size was so I could reconfigure my 3D print. So I now have nuts and bolts, and these are Phillips head. I already had some screws that I could use, but they were the Allen key ones, so I didn't want to use those. So now I now have everything I need that I can complete the design of my Reflow Master front and back and get that finished. So that's exciting. The other thing I needed for my Reflow Master board, now I bought a whole bunch of these from China, and I don't know how long they're going to take to arrive, but I got some from RS as well, because they're nice and quick. So I mentioned when I was putting my board together that I made a mistake and I put the wrong um, header pitch size for screw terminals because they were all 3.5 mil and I couldn't find anything anywhere. Well, apparently you can get 2.54 pitch screw terminals. And that's what these are. So I can put these on my board and I can screw in the wires to it. So five is enough for my first board and I've got a whole bunch coming so I can use them in the future. So that's exciting. Another box. This is from, this is local. This is from Core Electronics. I must cut myself with my new knife, folks. That would have been rather bad. Hmm. This is going to end badly. I'm just going to use brute force. Here we go. Okay, we have assortment of stuff in here. Yay. Okay, firstly we have nothing. Yay, a bag of nothing. Cool. Is that really stuck down to the bottom of the box? Okay, they've added something and it's stuck to the bottom of the box. Is that so I wouldn't accidentally throw it out? Okay, well, good packaging. Let's rip this apart and find out what's inside. There's a few things inside. So, we have, in no particular order, some 22 gauge black and red wire, just spools of them. These are the SparkFun ones. I was gonna buy the Adafruit ones, but the SparkFun, they're, they're identical. I mean, they're a different looking spool and they're quite a bit cheaper. So I tend to use a lot of the black and the red and I need a replacement. These are solid core. Excellent. I've also bought a whole bunch from China, but I got those because I needed them now and I was running out. We have Raspberry Pi, but it's not a Raspberry Pi, but what it is is covered. It's a quite expensive, unfortunately, camera. It's their camera V2. So it's their eight megapixel camera, although it says camera V2.1. So I finally got around to getting my camera to put on my Pi Zero W that's on my Mark III so I can monitor the prints remotely. But of course I need it to go on a, well let's open this one first. This is a second Zero W because I've now used my other one in my printer and I wanted to still have a play with the Pi. It's my only my second Pi I've ever bought. So. I got myself another Pi, but as you can see, the camera header on it is different. It doesn't fit. They're different sizes. 
So you can buy an adapter, which is this cable. And this cable lets you plug into this end of the camera. And then it has the small bunched up end that goes into here. So I need that with my camera for my Mark III, which is exciting. I'm going to put them back in a bag actually before I wreck them. And of course I've got my new Zero W that I can actually have a play with both the Pi and with, I guess, just Linux in general. So that's pretty cool. Okay, better put that over there before I lose it. I've got a couple more things. One I dropped on the floor. Very briefly, I got these from the Element 14. They came with my power supply that I'm not doing an unboxing of. I've already opened that and you'll be able to see that in my Random Bytes video for June. But I have three orders here. So we've got inside here, if I can read it, we've got the CD450 one zero be chip that David Watts was talking about. I've got a whole bunch. So there's ten of those. I've got ten of the 74CH595N shift registers. The other shift registers that David mentioned, but I also got one of, if you remember, the 74LS670N, or it's now called the LS16 because David Watts got it renamed, or I got it renamed for David Watts. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the video just ooh, there. Cool. So I haven't opened these yet. Uh, this is the first time I've had ICs in tubes. I have no idea how I'm going to store them. Interesting. And lucky last, the star of the show, apart from me, whatever, is one electronics kit. This is a Kickstarter that I backed. This was sent to me February. Can everyone read that? February. Wow. And it arrived last week. I've been in touch with the the runner of the Kickstarter, Patrick, and he was quite apologetic, and it wasn't just me, it was anyone in Australia for some reason. Canada Post to Australia is just ridiculous. But this, wow, lots of parts. I've been waiting to open this and have a play with it. I haven't had a chance to have a play with it yet, but I wanted to open it in my mail. So I can do it gently. Did I buy it? Oh, I bought it in kit form. Oh no! I guess I got something to put together on Saturday. Okay, well. Let's see if I can get it all out easily without breaking it all, without losing any parts. This is the Little Buddy Talker. There's also a bigger version of this now, like a Big Buddy Talker, I believe. This is a Little Buddy Talker, and it's a module that you connect to an Arduino, and, or compatible, you know what I mean. And it's pre-programmed with a whole bunch of voice samples, and you can basically make it talk. You can tell it to say all sorts of stuff. I can't remember how many samples are on here. I think it could be maybe 256 or something. Something like that. I don't know. I'll put the details in the description below. I didn't remember <laughs> that I bought the kit. But it was so long ago. I mean, I backed it in January, I believe. Or December or January. And it shipped in February. And yeah, it took forever to get here. So I need to put that together and have a bit of a play with it. But I'm excited to see you know, what, what I can do in terms of making it say stuff. And if I can put that into any of my other projects, it could be cool. I can imagine a, my Nightlight project, or well, probably can't imagine it because I haven't finished it. I haven't done any work on it for a while, but can you imagine if it also spoke? And if it said, get out of bed! Yeah, okay, something like that. Some fancy alarm clock that scares the bejesus out of you. Wow, I'm having trouble putting it back in the bag. Anyway, so I've just got an audio cable and some jumper wires, which is nice. Not that I don't have a lot of those already. There we go. That is today's mail. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Welcome to all my new subs. And follow me on all the social media stuff. And until next time, bye.